thank you so much for, for being here today. Um, what a scary movie. Very, very scary. And one of the things about this movie and about really the Conjuring series as a whole, you know, the whole Conjuring extended universe, if you want to call it that, it has some amazing faith elements as a part of it. It feels like, like this is sort of a place where, where in the context of horror, you can sort of deal with matters of faith. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I grew up Catholic. I mean, that, you know, my faith was really important to me, you know, growing up. And um, I think that, you know, it's, you know, fun for these movies to, you know, they have elements of faith in them. And they also, you know, tap into, you know, I mean, just our greatest fears. And yeah. uh, I, I think there's something really exciting about that. Yeah. Well, the simple answer is, is that the only way that you can combat darkness is with light. Yeah. And that's faith. Yeah. 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 You were obviously the sort of the the cornerstone of faith in this movie. Oh, yeah. You were the person who was whipping out the crosses and doing all of that sort of stuff. Are you a man of faith yourself? Oh, yeah, of course. I grew up, I grew up Catholic. Uh, I, 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 I dabbled in, you know, Christianity. Mm -hmm. um, I love reading about different religions and, and learning their principles. And, you know, it all comes down to that there's darkness and there's light. Yeah. There's yeah. negative and positive energy, and you have to decide yeah. which do you choose. And that's one of the things that I think is, is remarkable about just the horror genre itself, is that you have the opportunity to deal with darkness and light that you don't necessarily see in a lot of other movies. You don't necessarily see it in, in your typical rom-coms. This gives you a chance to really analyze what it means to be, you know, good and evil, light and dark, you have a chance to deal with some of those huge, huge issues, right? Well, everyone's, everyone's a non-believer until something happens, <laughs> right? Exactly. A lot of people walk out of the theater believing in God. <laughs> That's really true. Yes. That's really true. I mean, that was part of the, you know, what the stories that we wanted to tell. You know, our main character, Anna, is a woman who's, you know, a single mother. She lost her husband um, tragically. And, you know, by, you know, in through that, she lost her faith. And this is kind of a, you know, journey back to, you know, rediscovering, you know, her roots and her faith and um, and finding power in that. You bet. And then power, power in herself. Yeah. yeah, she's jolted into it because she has to rely on a, on, a, on, a, on a medicine man who is basically a shaman, a mystic, who a former priest who she has to ask for help. And then he comes to her aid and helps her b battle this dark entity. 